Uh, Wilson Ross from Black Women TV. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, good. How's it going, man? How you doing? So you're playing these real life characters in which I'm assuming from what everybody else has said, they haven't really met them. So what did you do outside of the book to play these characters, to play it well so that we, the audience, can watch it, be entertained, and those who know those characters, <laughs> know those actors, know those real life personalities can say they got it right. I'm gonna start off with you, Adrian. <laughs> Uh, well, um, you know, fortunately, there's a lot of material out there on all of these gentlemen, right? But uh, there's a lot of material, uh, whether it's interviews or, you know, I'm still finding myself reading uh, Pat's writings and, uh, you know, it's full of wonderful quotes and, um, you know, uplifting messages that go well beyond the uh, the need for me to inhabit the man or to, to, to learn aspects of his personality or, 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 or qualities that are unique to him. They're just inspiring. And, you know, he continues to inspire me. Um, and I feel like um, it's a combination. The, 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 you know, Jeff's book has a lot of great detail to that time and place and, uh, and, you know, wonderful, interesting stories um, that have inspired the writing uh, of the show. But, um, you know, there's a lot to draw from. There's a lot. And uh, and then at some point you have to just take a, a sense of, of, of understanding of, of where they are at that point in their lives. You know, you've seen this, this whole journey because we've seen their lives 40 years later and, and how they, what they've lived through and how they've prevailed and where they have and haven't. And uh, it's, a, it's a, an interesting thing. I, I was saying earlier, really to believe uh, in, and have the hopes to, to prevail and, and, and live out your dreams, you have to really believe that you're going to succeed. You can't just wing it. You have to believe that. And, um, you have to believe that you're talking to an interviewer when they're actually oh, there. You really are. There. there you are. Um, but you have to you have to believe that the you know your hopes and dreams can come true. And when you when you know that the individual that you're playing, who's going through valleys in their peaks and valleys of their life, uh, has actually achieved those dreams, it's an amazing thing. So you have that up your sleeve. So Jason, talk to me about how did you embody this character in playing Jerry West? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, the traditional ways that Adrian talked about, you know, you, you have your accent, you have your, you know, you go into that West Virginia group. There's very particular things about Jerry, which I loved, you know, and I love the West Virginian accent as well. It's a really expressive, America's got a lot of different things. And then the pub, the videos and all those things, I'm watching the old, thing. but the other thing I loved in LA was so many people have Jerry West stories. Like everybody would have a jury. And I sought those people out, you know, people that he played golf with, people that he played cards with, people that, you know, worked at the restaurant that he visited, you know, valets even. And I'd, and I'd experiment with letting him know that I was playing Jerry and with just all other things, just getting around and people talking and, and just opening up their stories about how they'd go. And um, I still do it now. Even I was having a great chat with Rick Fox the other day when we were doing a thing for HBO. And everyone's got strong impersonations of course because he's a gigantic figure in you know in LA and the basketball world and sports and all that but he left strong impersonations on people Jerry you know he was a he was a a very developed character and persona that he had and I started just breaking it down by that you know the Jerry West persona the Jerry West interior man who's just like always just talking and people would say, you know, Jerry was always having a minute in a monologue. There was always an inner monologue going on. You know, Lynn Evans and oh, this guy's, you know, bullshit up there on the screen. Someone's going. And it was stuff like that, you know, that I really started putting together the little touches within who he was and the pace that he that he you know, he's in a clock beat to that. Mm -hmm. And Solomon, first time acting, you're playing the role of Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Talk to me about, you know, obviously you've played the sport. But getting into this realm of the acting business and playing a legend, a living legend. Sure, yeah, you know, so I, you know, I had the advantage of being a lifelong fan of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's. I grew up an hour outside, an hour away from the form, 
the Lakers were the center of the sports universe for me. And Kareem was the center of that because my father was an enormous fan of his. Um, his autobiography was one of the first books that I read growing up right up there with Malcolm X's. And so, you know, I've had a lifelong admiration for who he is as a person, obviously as a basketball player. You know, I was, I was the kid who grew up in Southern California and was spoiled with a Lakers success. So it was normal to me for them to win championships because of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um, and so, you know, if you know something about Kareem, you know that he's been pretty generous in terms of what he's written about himself. You know, he's written multiple books about his life. You know, he, he, com he, he contributes in the op-ed space. Um, and then there's, in, like, like Jason said, everyone has a Kareem story, right? And so, you know, having had, have, having had been in the basketball universe and, you know, I, I played a few years professionally, never in the NBA, but I know enough guys that did and I know enough people that were around that era who had their Kareem stories. And then also there's the, the, the beautiful documentary that he, that, he, uh, 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 that he produced, I believe he produced it, but uh, HBO's Minority of One, which is just a, just a, a very full telling of, of his journey. Um, and in addition to wanting to just really consume everything that I could about him, there's, uh, there's, there's jazz music, which is so central to who he is as a person. And I was a longtime admirer of jazz, but in preparing for this role, I mean, I just really immersed myself and just, I got to have conversations with people like Winston Marcellus about the, the genre and the art form and just the impact that it had on, 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 on people like Kareem when they were coming up. And so, you know, I, I, I say, you know, it's, if Kareem's story was just that he knew Thelonious Monk, he has the most interesting story at every cocktail party he goes to. But didn't you just pour on top of that, you know, six time MVP, right? The author of 14 books, et cetera. So it's just like, what? You know, it, it, there's just so many fascinating characteristics. Um, and it was, it was very rewarding just re doing the research for this. <laughs> and to finish it off, Adrian, have you been a, in a position where you've met uh, Pat Riley to talk to him? I haven't had the pleasure of, of meeting him and, and speaking about this, but uh, uh, he knows I'm a big fan. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and um, you know. But it's going to be fun watching the series. I've seen a few of the episodes and you know, it, it's only the tip of it, you know, from what I've seen so far. But it'll be exciting to watch the rest to see how Pat Riley went from a radio announcer to coach, you know, to the man who he is today, to see how Jerry West got tempered, you know, how he lost the attitude and become a, a big businessman. And Kareem, how he obviously uh, tempered out and became a, a fan favorite once again. <laughs> Take care, folks. Good talking to you guys. Thank you, Thank you very yeah. much.